guys, how are you? I hope you're all doing very well. This afternoon I'm going to be doing another movie review, so hopefully you find this one interesting. This movie is a horror film from Chile, Spanish language English subs, released in the year 2015, directed by Lucio A. Rojas, and this film is called Sendero. So Sendero is about a group of friends who are travelling through the remote countryside of Chile and their car breaks down. So help, help arrives in the form of a farmer who fixes their car and has them on their way. But a few miles down the road they have to stop again is because in the middle of the road is a woman covered in blood. So they want to help her but they don't know how to. Then they realise that a car behind them is pulled up containing two psychopaths who take the friends and this bloody woman captive and take them back to their mansion. Now the mansion is a very run down mansion and it's owned by this psychopathic woman who tells these captives that they have a higher purpose that they're going to realise a little bit later. But in the meantime they're going to be subjected to all kinds of sexual violence, torture and torment and they're going to discover that there are some things that are worse than death and the thing that they're living right now is that thing. So when they realise what their purpose is they're going to realise that it's far more terrifying than they could ever have imagined so they're going to have to band together in order to try and escape this hellhole and whether or not they can is something you're going to have to find out for yourself because that's as far as I'm going with my synopsis. Now my thoughts on Sendero. If you are a fan of extreme cinema, Sendero is going to be a gorehound's wet dream. The gore effects in this film were absolutely second to none. They were phenomenally done and they're very practical as well. So there's no cheap CGI which pollutes a lot of other films. And so this movie does have a strong sense of realism in the actual violence that it depicts. It's a very sexually violent film. It's a very cruel film. It's everything that is against the decency of humanity. It's a movie that dares to break a lot of taboos as far as filmmaking is concerned. A lot of other directors won't go to the lengths that Lucio A. Rojas actually does in this film. So I can appreciate the fact that he has made a film that will absolutely shock a lot of audiences. This movie will upset a lot of audiences because it is very graphic. There are a lot of kills in this film that are on screen. In fact, I can't even remember a kill that was off screen. Maybe one or two kills, but it does have a very high body count and the majority of the film you can actually see what's going on and it is shocking and how far it actually goes. So there is sexual violence, which is a very taboo subject in a lot of films once again, but extreme horror films the reason why I appreciate them for what they are, although they're not perfect, and although this movie does fall down the trap that a lot of extreme horror films do, I still appreciate the fact that they're willing to show you things that a lot of other filmmakers won't, in that they're showing you the ugliness of humanity and what actually happens in real life is that we, we want to pretend that these sorts of acts of debauchery don't happen, but they do. And these horror directors are willing to go over the line and really provoke an audience and upset an audience and make an extremely memorable extreme horror experience that I'd recommend to anyone out there who is a fan of extreme gore. So I, the cop, this was competently made and that was what surprised me the most is that if the movie is banking on its gore alone, I thought that the rest of the film would really suffer and there's a lot of element in this film that really does suffer because of the fact the draw card is in the gore but as far as cinematography is concerned, as far as the score is concerned, it was actually very impressive. I thought the score gave it almost a, a Frontiers kind of feel in that the French horror film Frontiers in that you feel as though it's very depressing and you feel, okay, the these friends have been taken captive. This isn't a light-hearted experience. This is a terrifying experience. And the score gives you that sadness that these characters are in a world where it is very ugly, in a world where it's not sugar-coated to a fairy tale sort of standard. This is just a descent into hell, a descent into pure pain and suffering. And I thought the cinematography and I thought the dirtiness of the setting, the overall mansion, it was very... Um, it was decaying, it was very ugly, and it matched the mood that this is a very ugly film. And so I thought the score really amplified that to a point where you feel, okay, I'm in a very dirty atmosphere, I don't want to be in this atmosphere. You as a viewer want to escape the pain and torment as well, is because you feel like you're going for this along on this ride. And that's something that I wasn't expecting from a film of this sort of nature. And so that to me was also a very welcome bonus. And so the movie is very fast paced. The movie does go insane towards the end with its gore as well. It does go a little over the top, but it does give it that charm in that you're watching a splatter film and this movie is delivering everything that you want from this particular style of film. Unfortunately though, as I said, because the movie is so reliant on its absolute phenomenal gore, it wants to bank on that gore. It wants the gore to take it, uh, take it over the line by itself. But unfortunately, you do notice as, as some of the shortcomings in the other elements of the film. Case in point, the acting. I thought the acting was lacking within the friends in that they're facing this terrifying situation. You can feel the terror. But unfortunately, some of their reactions to certain events weren't really that authentic. And so you really 
realize, okay, these people are reading from a script, okay, you realize that, okay, they're acting, and that they're not really getting, you, you can't really get yourselves into the shoes as much as you really want it to, is because you feel that the shortcomings of the acting is becoming apparent to the point where you feel, okay, it's less than the quality, just a little bit. And then you've got some moments that you, it does feel a little bit cheap. Although the gore is not cheap, there are other aspects of this film that you feel could have been done up a little bit. And if there's a little bit more attention to the overall supporting aspects, uh, I thought it could have been a hell of a lot better than it was. So the acting is not very good, although I will say that the, the lead villain, this woman, I thought she was terrifying. So that was an exception. She was very good, but the rest of the cast I thought was lacking quite considerably. But that's everything you'd expect from this type of movie, but um, you know, not unfortunately. Fortunately, there, uh, you know, the competency as far as production is concerned, as far as cinematography, as far as the setting, as far as creating the mood, and as far as the phenomenal gore effects, this was a lot better than a lot of films of this similar nature, and as a result of that, I would highly recommend this movie. I enjoyed it for what it was. I was shocked. I was repulsed. But it's everything the director wanted you to feel, and so for that, I have to give it credit. And overall, I'm going to give Sendero two and a half stars. Alright guys, that's it for my review. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks like you watch movies and I'll see you later.